Canoga Park is it's Canoga Park. You know, when I was in high school, this was a extremely tough park. It was very dangerous. You know, the local gang uh, had run the park. You got the gangs, you got people doing drugs. Kids see everything out here. Graffiti, stealing. There's a lot of things around here that can get kids into trouble. About five to 10 years ago, we were starting to have a lot of gang problems in this area. So the city decided to start investing into the park and making sure that the families would come back into the park. We have a new synthetic field. We also did a play area. And then, you know, a lot of the kids were asking for more. We do have a high demand for skaters because I live in the valley and I always see kids skating in parking lots. Skateboarding is awesome to me. It's a challenging sport, very difficult sport, but it challenges yourself, your mind, your body. It keeps you busy after school. It's really fun. I love doing tricks and I enjoy skating with my friends. We used to hop the fence at middle school. I got tickets, me and my friends got tickets. It's a hassle skating because they don't want you there. Riding out in the streets is very dangerous. Having a skate park would be a safe haven for anyone who wants to come in already. If there were a skate park here, I'd ride my bike every day. We went to the Tony Hawk Foundation. They were like, we're trying to get a skate park over at our community. And they were like, oh, that's cool. We'll see what we can do, help you guys out about that. Tony and I would like to pledge $25,000 from the Tony Hawk Foundation to the Narc Skate Park Project in Canoga Park. Uh, we were very grateful because not only did Tony Hawk Foundation raise the money, but they involved us in every step of the way. What do you guys want? How do you guys want it? We want your input. This is their skate park. You know, at the same time, what we want from them is for them to help us take care of the, the facilities. You know, because that's what people think of when we build a skate park, that we're going to bring, you know, the negative environment to the community, but it's not true. Skating isn't bad, which is perceived by most parents. Skating was something, you're doing something bad, which sucks. You're always shooing the skaters away. You're always being told to go somewhere else, like you're a bad kid. You're not a bad kid, you're just looking for a place to skate and now you have that area. This is for them, and now nobody can tell them to leave anymore. It's a beautiful design. You know, it's not an eyesore. What New Line developed here with the Tony Hawk Foundation, it's a very organic response to the space. We have these heritage trees, so we developed a design that worked with them. Look how many kids are here now. Two hours before the event even starts, and we already have more kids here than we've had at this park for quite some time. That says a lot about what skateboarding means to these kids. Are you guys excited? It's all because of the involvement of the community and the involvement of the council office, but it started with Tony Hawk, because he's the one that brought the idea for this park. I'm actually really excited for the skate park. Now kids have somewhere safe when they can skate and congregate and talk to each other and learn from each other. Kids will stay out of trouble because now there's a skate park. This skate park is amazing. It's just a very nice family park now. It's a good place to be. Canoga has changed because of the skate park. It's a blessing. If we can do this at Canoga, hopefully we can do it everywhere. I think it's awesome. It's really given an opportunity for them to make more friends and somewhere to belong. Skating is my life. And now I have a park, a skate park.